y'all, it's summertime, and what better way to celebrate than with cocktails at the pool? I have three different but very impressive drinks that are going to showstop your friends at your next pool party. The first cocktail I'm going to make is white wine sangria. You're probably used to a red wine sangria, but this one is perfect for those really, really hot summer days. You can serve it in a large pitcher and put it in your fridge and you can make it a day or two in advance. The longer sangria sits, the better it tastes. I'm more of a Sav Blanc kind of girl, but if you like the Pinot Gris, you go for it. Since my pitcher is so large, I am multiplying this recipe by three. So that's one bottle plus two bottles is three bottles. So when you're having a large crowd, a sangria like this is super great to serve because it doesn't have hard alcohol in it, which is pretty expensive. Wine you can get for pretty cheap and you can fill up an entire pitcher like this to serve a big crowd. This is Lillet, which is a French aperitif wine, and it is the perfect addition to this summer sangria. I love to put this over ice and just sip on it. I'm just going with the whole bottle. Measurements are overrated. If you haven't learned that from me already, learn it today. The great thing about sangria is you can put literally any kind of fruit in it that you want to have. Right now, it's summertime, so peaches, Georgia, duh, and raspberries because they're pretty. When I was in college, I studied abroad in Spain. I sipped on sangria and this other drink called Tinto de Verano right on the beach. This is perfect for those kinds of days. You can just let your fruit sit in your wine mixture. Honestly, the longer they sit, the better it tastes. So if you're worried about what it tastes and not what it looks like, make it three days in advance. The last thing that I'm super excited about is basil. Most sangrias don't really have anything green in them. And I think that this is the perfect little splash of color and just the right amount of herb flavor that is perfect for hot summer days. The thing I love most about this sangria, other than the fact you can make it ahead, is that it's so easy. I just dumped all the ingredients and I can let it sit. So if you've never made sangria before, this is a great one to start with. <laughs> My favorite classic cocktail is a French 75. It is the best. It doesn't get any easier than this and it doesn't get any more tasty. Cocktail shaker and ice, lemon juice, simple syrup, so much easier than making it from scratch. Y'all, I have some opinions about gin. It is my favorite spirit. My favorite brand of gin is Hendrix because it has cucumber infused into it. Game changer. It is like by far the superior gin of all gins. The recipe calls to shake it for 20 seconds or vigorously. Shake it until your fingers are really numb. You don't have to worry about the proper shaking technique. We had this really fancy cocktail person come and try to show us how to make cocktails in the Southern Living Test Kitchen one time. It was a lot. Pour this into your champagne flute. Top it with the bubbly. A nice little lemon twist. Oh, fun fact about cocktail making. So if you've been to a really fancy cocktail bar and you've seen people like slap the um, lemon peel, also the rosemary. It really does release the oils that are in the herbs. Put it in there. The one thing that I learned in this cocktail class that really did help me, if you're gonna garnish a glass, the more the better. It looks prettier in the end and tastes better too. You can't go wrong with the French 75. Even though the classic version doesn't have ice in the glass, I know my friends are gonna appreciate an extra cold drink on this hot day by the pool. The last cocktail that I'm going to make is called a summer cobbler cocktail, which really tastes like a blackberry cobbler in a glass. This cocktail is also perfect for traveling, which is why I'm going to serve it in a mason jar. You can make this very, very portable. To start things off, we need our shaker again with some ice and then white whiskey. It's basically made the same way that whiskey is made, but it's not aged, which is why it's white. If you age this, it would be brown. There's also Grand Marnier, which is an orange flavored liqueur. Any of your favorite orange flavored liqueurs. I like this one because it has a fancy little wax seal on it right here, but you know, you do you. Lime juice, 
One of the things I love most about this Summer Cobbler cocktail is that it has blackberry preserves in it. The blackberry preserves will flavor your cocktail, turn it pink, and you don't have to use traditional simple syrup. If you don't like blackberries, you can easily sub this for raspberry, blueberry, or a four fruit jam. Whatever's your jam, <laughs> you can do it. I cracked myself up. Bum, ba -da -ba. Ice cubes. I made ice cubes and froze the blackberries inside the ice cube trays. This is a really cool way to impress your friends. Hashtag you fancy. Ooh, look at that, it's pink. Some more fresh blackberries and a lime peel. Then you are ready to pack this in your cooler and take it to your pool party. y'all like my three pool party cocktail recipes if you have any fun pool party cocktails that you want to share put them in the comments and I would love to read about them be sure to like comment subscribe and share and if you're watching on YouTube you know what to do click the bell we'll see you next time on hey y'all cheers y'all cut cameras